Hello, good morning to all of you. I am Porsche Cadiz from Team Cadiz and I am here to talk about depression. So, why depression? Because ito ay uh, laganap sa ngayon, ngunit subalit at tapat, hindi tayo masyadong aware na maraming tao ang nagsasuffer ng depression. Like myself, I, I can speak for myself. I am suffering from depression, but I can say that I am significantly better than my condition way back um 2017. So now it's 2019, so I can say that for for almost two years, I made depression po ako. Uh, Nag-undergo ako ng test and nag-consult my psychologist. And uh, it was found out that I am bordering clinical depression because there are different types. So, clinical depression are those that requires uh, medicine. So, yung sa akin is um, hindi pa. So, social help could be uh, a big um, factor. You know, like with friends and families, travel and other things that can help me unwind and get better. And I can say that, um, as I said earlier, I am significantly better. Maybe nakatulong yung mga travel for the past uh, few months. Like uh, we went to Taiwan, we went to Japan. You know, I see my friends more often now. And uh, we go out with the family, of course, my husband and my kids. Um, so, and of course, uh, tulong na rin sa sarili ko. I have to help myself as well. Although, hindi talaga siya nako-control. So, para dun sa mga hindi masyadong aware na may depression ng kanilang kasama sa bahay, mga kaibigan, mahal sa buhay, or even themselves, baka lang maging um, makatulong itong video na ito para um, malaman natin because itatakal natin ngayon kung ano ba yung mga warning signs of having a depression. So, number one is uh, appearing depressed or sad most of the time. So, hindi natin alam yung pwede nyo kasama natin sa bahay or kaibigan natin is parang lagi siyang malungkot. Para natin malalaman kung hindi natin kasama sa bahay. May mga post siya. Usually, malungkot or it could be a picture or names na malungkot siya. So, um, care to ask kamusta siya. You know, um, take time to have a longer conversation because hindi naman ito sasabihin or aaminin agad ng isang taong may depression na depressed siya eh. Or sometimes hin- siya mismo hindi niya alam na depressed siya. So another sign is talking or writing about death or suicide. Um, well, another uh, form or platform of social media is Instagram. So aside from Facebook, uh, there's Instagram or others that I do not know of. Or if you have group chat or anything, uh, try to check. Try to check that person. Uh, not just ask kung okay ka lang. Dig deeper. It is very important na ang taong depressed ay may nakakausap. Kung hindi man niya itakil ang tungkol sa kanyang depression, importante pa rin na may nakakausap siya. Next is withdrawing from family and friends. Ito yung mga taong lumalayo, hindi nyo alam kung bakit. Hindi siya na masyadong nakikipag-usap o nakikipagkita sa inyo. That's also one of the signs of depressions. Next is feeling hopeless. Kung kayo sa sarili nyo, parang nawawalan na kayo ng pag-asa dahil maybe na-deny kayo ng visa or um, magkaroon ka ng broken relationship or anything na talagang makakapagpa-down sa inyo and you feel really hopeless, well, that is one sign of uh, suicide. And another sign is feeling helpless. So, parang feeling nyo wala nang tutulong sa inyo, uh, wala na tong kapara-paraan. By the way, this is coffee talk, no? Um, I already have few coffee talks, but I am just posting it privately sa sa aming mga group chat with my friends. So, this one uh, will go public. So, ito pa lang. This is the first time. So, I'm sure we'll have a lot of coffee talk. And I I feel like this is the most um, timely 
and important and relevant for uh, socially dahil nga sa mga nangyayari at nababalitaan natin. Next thing is feeling strong anger or rage. Para bang galit na galit lagi? Um, hindi lang galit eh. Galit na galit. Rage. For some reason, ikaw siguro sa sarili mo mismo hindi mo alam kung bakit. Or if you can see someone else that you know na para siyang laging galit na galit na hindi mo alam kung saan ang pinanggagalingan. That is another sign of um, depression. And then another thing is um, feeling trapped. Like there is no way out of a situation. Um, siguro kasama na ito sa feeling hopeless and helpless. Ano, parang wala nang mangyayari, wala nang solusyon at problema na lang talaga. And you just, you just wanna die because gusto mo na lang mag-suicide kasi feeling mo talagang wala nang makakatulong sa'yo. But in fact, you know, you just reach out and huwag ka masyadong magmukmuk sa kwarto. Reach out, try, you have to help yourself. Next is experiencing dramatic mood changes. So, may mga tao tayong makikita na parang ba, bakit siya ganyan? Parang hindi naman siya ganyan noon. Uh, may mga mood siya na minsan masaya siya, minsan malungkot siya, minsan galit siya. O kung ano mga iba't ibang moods pa yan na basta talagang nagbabago, paiba-iba, na parang hindi natin talaga maintindihan. That's another sign of uh, of depression, which could be a suicidal Um, may suicidal tendency. Nga pala, it's uh, the proper um, pronunciation is not suicide or SWI. So, it's suicide. Ala? Nawala? Suicide. Yun. Suicide. So, parang S-O-O. Parang ganon. And then, I side. Suicide. And then, next thing is um, abusing drugs or alcohol. Of course, yung mga taong malungkot. Kasi pagka nalungkot siya ng mga 2 days lang, 3 days, 5 days, ganon. But if it past 2 weeks, iba na yun. You have to consult. You, I have to ask around. Much, much better if it's a psychologist or psychiatrist. But that is depression. Uh, change in personality. Um, biglang pasama na yung ugali niya or maybe hindi natin alam basta change in personality yung hindi siya, yun na siya ngayon next is acting impulsively so parang ang bilis niyang mag decision ang bilis niyang uh, mag shift from this one to this one so pag parang hindi na siya yung kaharap nyo or parang hindi na kayo yung noon Try to check pa rin. And then we have a list of um, uh, signs of being depressed and suicidal tendencies. So, I hope not. I hope not. I'm, I'm not wishing. Uh, losing interest in most activities. Uh, nawawalan tayo ng gana sa mga bagay na karaniwan natin ginagawa or ordinaryo natin ginagawa. We lose interest because we, we just feel like We, we, we don't want to leave. Eh, parang anyway, mamatay din naman. Bakit pa ba gagawin tong mga bagay na to? Lalo na yung yung wala ka ng kapakipakialam na lang sa mundo. O kahit sa mga kasama mo sa bahay or sa mga kaibigan mo. And you just don't want to interact anymore. Whatever that is you were, you had interest with, parang ayaw mo na. Which is napaka-imposible for a person na yun ang interest mo eh, tapos biglang wala ka ng interest. Try to check. And then, experiencing um, change in sleeping habits. Kung dati gabi pa lang tulog na kayo, bigla kayong naging nocturnal, well, tignan nyo, siguro kasi there's a lot of going through in your mind and that is the reason why. And then, change in eating habits. So, pwedeng more likely mawawalan kayo ng gana. Or meron din bang depressed na mas lumalaks kumain? Pwede rin siguro. Uh, basta change in eating habits. Biglang ganun kayo noon, ganito na kayo ngayon. So, isama niya yung lahat ng signs na yan and that could be a sign of depression. Um, performing poorly at work or in school. This is um, for... 
Kasi as early as 7 years old, merong pwedeng ma-depressed eh. I heard news na merong na bata na nag-suicide for reasons that we do not know. Maybe he was bullied or there are problems at home or there are problems in school that we do not know because we're not reaching out. So, communication is very important in any relationship. Mapananay kayo, mapaanak kayo, kamag-anak, or especially jowa or asawa. Communication, checking on uh, each other once in a while is very important. What else? Giving away prized possessions. Pinapamigay niya na yung mga gusto niya na mga bagay, even yung mga collection niya. Parang bakit? E prized possessions kaya niya yun. Gusto nga niya kanya lang yun. Nakatabi, nakakabinet, nakakakon, nakalagay sa salamin. Bakit biglang uh, pinapamigay niya na yun? So, there could be, that could be a sign of depression. Writing a will, yung will of uh, testament, yung nagbibili na siya, kanino mapupunta ang kanyang mga lupain, mga ganito ganyan. So, take a look. Next is feeling excessive guilt or shame. Yung sobra-sobra yung pagka-guilt niya for something else na hindi magandang nangyari or sobrang hiya niya. Uh, bakit? We have to check that person out. Or we have... You watching right now could be the person that I am talking about. And believe me, you should not feel in any way very guilty about it. You can talk about it, try to reach out. I'm sure there is a way for you to feel better. Next is acting recklessly. Yung parang wala ka ng pakialam sa paligid mo, sa mga tao. Um... Mahirap, mahirap yung kontrolin talaga eh. Masasabi ko, hindi mo siya ginugusto. Yung mga nararamdaman mo, yung mga nangyayari sa'yo, hindi mo siya gusto. It's not voluntarily. It just happens. And sometimes, you know, parang merong nagsasalita dun sa isip mo, sa'yo. I don't know if it's left or right. Pero parang may kumakausap din minsan sa'yo. And you just feel depressed. You just feel so sad. And ayaw mo na sa lahat. That was the first time that I realized that I was depressed in year 2017. And nakalagay dito, ha, it should be noted that some people who die by suicide do not show any suicide warning signs. Lahat ng binanggit ko, pwedeng wala sa kanya lahat or hindi nyo makikita or it's not evident. Kasi nasa kanya lang yun pag nasa kwarto na lang siya kapag nasa bahay. Pero kapag kaharap niyo siya, parang ang saya-saya na. So, it doesn't necessarily mean that, wow, ang saya ng kaibigan ko, eh okay na siya. Tanungin pa rin natin, okay ka lang ba? O wala ka bang mga kakaiba sa'yo ngayon? Ganon. I feel like this is a social responsibility hindi ko kayo dinadagdagan ng mabigat na responsibilidad. Ngunit, bilang tao, bilang kaibigan, bilang kamag-anak, check nyo rin minsan kasi baka nga may pinagdadaanan siya na hindi nyo alam, di ba? And, ang sabi dito, um, if you, you, or someone you know exhibits several of the suicide warnings at yung mga sinabi ko kanina immediate action is required so there is a number that uh, we can call about that that is worldwide and we have in the Philippines let me just check mas importante sa akin na i-absorb nyo kung ano tong um, social awareness that I am giving you right now because eto siguro yung contribution that I can give to those who are suffering from depression or that you don't know that you are suffering from depression this is the help that I can give Okay, so this is the number. I'm going to post it there. By landline, this is 0289691191. 
and the mobile phone number is 917 That is the Philippines Suicide Hotlines. Call, tawag lang. Huwag kayong mahiya. It's okay that you think you have a depression, you are depressed, and you have been there for, for a long time. It's okay. Everyone needs help. So since we already tackled, or I've already discussed what are the signs of um, suicidal tendencies, um, maganda na rin siguro na itakal natin ano bang mga causes nito? Ano bang mga causes ng suicide? Again, we are on my coffee talk session on our channel, Team Cadiz. This is actually a family channel and once in a while, I am posting different um, topics. And this, I think, will matter the most because I am now bringing social awareness to everyone who can watch this. May dalawa, tatlo, apat, or limang tao man ang manood lang nitong video na ito. Pero matulungan ko kayo. Laking bagay nun. Let me know if I was able to help so that I could feel good in a way, you know. Maybe you could also help me to, to lessen my depression and um, try to help someone else as well. So, ang sabi dito, ang mga causes daw ng suicide, um, I'm sorry that I have to look here. This is my cheat sheet. Um, ang sabi dito, um, untreated Untreated depression is the number one, number one cause for suicide. Imagine, untreated depression. Um, kasama dito yung mga, hindi kasi tayo aware na depressed siya, depressive friend, depressive jowa. Pwedeng depressive si nanay, si tatay, si kuya, si ate o si bunso. Again, it is our social responsibility nakamustahin sila. And kung hindi kayo nakikita-kita, I, I think you should start um, reaching out and maybe talk to them because um, hindi nyo nakasi alam kung ano yung pinagadaanan nila na hindi sila open pa para i-discuss sa inyo. We could prevent suicide suicide if we will be more um, socially responsible with each other. So, ang mga causes ng depression is ito, sa akin to. Death of a loved one. So, when my dad passed away um, in 2013, I, I um, hindi pa ako agad depressed. Hindi pa agad. 2013, and I just told you earlier that I just realized that I was suffering from depression in 2017. So, I didn't really had time to to mourn. Uh, yun lang din siguro yung masasabi ko sa part na to. Personally, you know, it is important that if someone you love died, you lost him, her, you mourn. Napaka importante nung stage ng mourning. Ano ano itong mourning? Yung kapag nawala at nailibing na, yun yung malungkot eh, di ba? Give give yourself a time to to be sad, to commemorate, to I don't know if if you have his things or I don't know. Magluksa. Magluksa. That is morning. Give it a time. It's not... It's not being weak. Morning is not being weak. It's giving yourself time to pick up the pieces and make yourself strong again.
Next cause is a divorce, separation, or breakup of a relationship. This is very, very common because, um, syempre, sino bang matutuwa dun sa nagkaroon ng broken relationship? Jowa or pamilya, may pinagsamahan kayo, eh, diba? but take it lightly. There's always hope. There's always tomorrow. So, do not be so depressed. It's okay, my depressed. It's okay. Malukot lang kayo. You know, but do not lead into a suicide. Because I'm sure if you have a broken relationship, there is another chance for you to be happy again. Things that we do not know yet, but Meron. Meron para sa'yo. Next is losing custody of children. Siguro kung naghiwala yung dalawang parents, ang um, couple, and then nawala dun sa nanay ang parents or nawala sa tatay ang parents, of course naman, di ba, may intindihan natin yun. No? So, yung mga taong alam natin na nag-undergo ng ganun or nag-undergo na sa ganung stage ng life, reach out to them, you know, ask for them to have coffee or, I don't know, whatever interest, whatever common interest that you may have, you know, reach out. Next is serious loss. Oh, such a loss of a job, a house, or money, or whatever is important to that person na nawala sa kanya, that is another um, cause of suicide of of uh, and depression depression which leads to suicide um ang pagka mo sa talaga malaking bagay yan you know but pag kasi sinabi niya okay lang don't stop there no just try chatting more hanggang sa mailabas niya yung kanyang nararamdaman what else serious illness sobrang sakit na could be nakakahawa or hindi natin alam kung ano yan, lalo na meron nga yung, there is another hotline for that, which is the HIV, there's a HIV hotline, I'll try to check on it, I'll just post here, if you just pass by and you know, they could be one of those people who are suffering from depression because, syempre, di ba, it's, it's like it's dead and for them, but I, I don't know. I cannot speak for them right now. But there is a hotline. Next is terminal illness. You know, like cancer. Of course, syempre, di ba? Maintindihan natin sila. So, spend more time with them. Serious accident. Merong mga uh, naaksidente na could be may nainvalido or naputol na parte ng katawan nila. And of course, they won't feel complete at all. Give more time. Maybe samahan nyo siya sa therapy na. Or, or, I don't know. Um, try to do the things that he or she loves with your help. Kung nahihirapan man siyang gawin ito ulit dahil nga meron ng something na pwedeng hindi na siya pwedeng uh, makakilos ng normal na kagaya ng dati. And then, chronic physical pain. This is another mine. You know, chronic physical pain because I have a problem at my back. Meron po akong sakit sa likod. And I am in fact, um, when I wake up each morning, the moment I am alive the following morning, masakit, may masakit na agad sa likod. Right now, as I speak, masakit yung likod ko. You know, it only varies if that is intensity 1 to 10. So, my normal is like 3. That's the pain level that I am experiencing each and every day. No, pero pag napagod ako or nagkaroon ako ng sunod-sunod na biyahe kahit dalawang araw lang, tatlong araw na biyahe, it's really painful. I really have to, well, I take my meditations and um, I need therapy. And um, massage could help. So, 
hindi lang yan, hindi lang back pain. Anything na chronic, chronic is ang ibig sabihin is paulit-ulit. Hindi siya nawawala. Nandun siya. Um, could also be headache or I don't know what else. But nakaka-depress kasi yun eh, yung, yung feeling na parang hindi na matatapos. Bakit tagi na lang yan to? Bakit tagi na lang meron? It is depressing. Intense emotional pain. Emotional pain, yes, nandun na rin siguro galing yung um, loss of a loved one or anything to such effect. Loss of hope, nawala na ng pag-asa because of something else. Bakit? Ano ba yung mga yan? Ba't ka nga ba mawawala ng pag-asa? A lot of reasons. Sobrang dami yan. Talagang hindi natin matutukoy pa isa-isa. Because kanya-kanya ang interest ng mga tao. Kapag nawala yung possibility na makamit niya yung bagay na yon talagang mawawala naman ang pag-asa. Next is being victimized. Naging biktima. Could be a domestic violence, um, rape, assault, or any violence which possibly you will be considered as a victim. So, I... I remember, no, maibalik ko lang uh, with respect with my husband. Meron akong nang, um, dating nakarelasyon na nananakit talaga siya. Nanakit siya. Papasok pa po nun sa work. Uh, Naka-turtleneck ako. Imagine mo, pasok ko sa call center. Pasok ka ng madaling araw, alas dos. Talabas ka alas once. So, tirik na tirik na ang araw, di ba? Pero papasok ako, naka-turtleneck ako naka um, casual kasi dapat yung suot eh long sleeves yon kasi ang dami kong ano ang dami kong pasa uh, I, I have to wear it para walang masyadong magtatanong yun pang isa even if we are already suffering from those minsan ayaw ayaw natin yun i-discuss ayaw natin yun pag-usapan because parang parang mas sumasakit lalong yung merong pain na lalong nagtitrigger na parang mas painful kapag napag-uusapan. Merong ganon. But that is wrong. Because dapat pinag-uusapan yun. Because it really needed help. Unang-una na yung humiwalay ka dun sa tao na nagkukos ng pain. Specifically yung physical na nananakit. At hindi lang to physical ha, it could also be emotional and it could also be psychological. Ang pananakit is not just physically, no? Pwedeng salita lang siya, but it's hitting you emotionally and psychologically. And you are already a victim. If you do not know yet, you are a victim. Kahit hindi ka sinasaktan. Pero sinasaktan ka dito at dito, you are a victim. Um, could also be, kung hindi man ikaw, a loved one being victimized, like a child. Um, ayoko nang banggitin, no? Medyo ma, um, ano eh, yun. Could be a child, um, or whatever the case may be. Na, lalo na kung ang taong ito ay very important to us. Mahirap din tanggapin that it happened to her or to him. Lalo na siguro yung mga nasa ibang bansa, mga OFW natin na mga kamag-anak, kakilala, kaibigan na nagsuffer ng hindi inaasahan at hindi natin gusto ng mga pangyayari. Nakakalungkot talaga yun. No, but again, communication is important. Next, physical abuse. In, um, I've already tackled that earlier. Verbal sexual abuse. Sexual abuse talaga naman, di ba? Anything that, that you do not voluntarily um, uh, participate, hindi ka voluntarily mag-participate, it's, ano yun eh, iba yun. Unresolved abuse from the past. Ay, marami to. Ang ganda pa nga ng pagkakaturm niya dito, oh. Unresolved abuse from the past. But in short, it's unfinished business. Mga bagay na hindi natin ma-let go, 
mga could be tao, pangyayari, lugar. I'd like to say something, no? Pero, I'll just keep it. Meron eh, meron. So, try to deal with it. You face it. Hindi mo siya pwedeng dalhin for the longest time because you just can't. You can. Hindi totoong you cannot. Next is feeling trapped in a situation perceived as negative. Trapped. Yung feeling mo nandun ka lang, hindi ka na makakaalis. At napaka-negative, napaka-hindi maganda ng bagay na yun. It is a cause of depression. Or you have also the feeling of you will never get better. No, that is not true because right now I can speak for myself that I started to suffer from depression in 2017. But right now it's 2019, it's October. I can say that I'm feeling a lot, lot better than how I was feeling in 2017. Feeling helpless, of course, and serious legal problems such as criminal prosecution or anything to that effect. Of course, nakaka-depress yan. But again, help should be provided. Uh, feeling, feeling taken advantage of. Yung nilalamangan ka na lang lagi, ginagamit ka. Huwag ka kasing magpagamit if you are aware naman, di ba? You stop it. You have to stop it. It will. You will not be taken advantage. Kung hindi ka rin po mapayag, magpatik advantage. Um, nga pala, baka pala may nanonood sa bihan. Sinong ba ito? Parang nagmamarunong na um, ay, papakilala po ako. I am also a psychology graduate. So, somehow, nung hindi ako absent, <laughs> na napag-aralan naman ito at ang aming maraming libro ng psychology ay nabasa ko naman po. So, again, I am speaking for myself but idagdag na rin po natin that I am a psychology graduate. Also, li- licensed secondary, in secondary teaching. So, I would like to teach po talaga. Gusto ko po talaga magpahatid ng mga informasyon at bukod dyan, una po, ay nagbablog po ako. So, as a blogger, I want to disseminate information. So, ko po talagang maraming makaalam, makabasa, and hopefully makatulong. In fact, tuwa po ako kapag ka merong nagme-message dun sa aking blog, which is porschcaddies.wordpress.com. Meron po akong Facebook. It's Porsche's Diary. Na, may nagtithank sa akin sa mga informasyon na binigay ko sa kanila at nagtatanong din sila and I was helping as much as I can. So, ang mapahatid ng informasyon at makatulong ay sabihin natin yung ating advocacy. Nasa akin yan. Nandito ko yan at nandito ko yan. So, sana all of this is making sense to you. And then, the inability to deal with a perceived humiliating situation. Let's say, napahiya. Napahiya. And then, hindi, hindi niya nakayanan. Uh, I'm sorry, no? Isingit ka lang to. I, I remember I have a classmate. I had a classmate in high school. Sobra siyang napahiya kasi hinubuan siya ng isang classmate namin. Lalaki sila. Fourth year high school na kami nito. Binaba yung short niya. Intrams namin. And grabe talaga, nakita, nakitaan talaga siya. Anyway, naka-underwear naman siya. Pero syempre, para sa isang binata, ba diba, na ano, para mahahubuan yon You know, our youth right there. Sometimes, okay lang yan, mapahiya. That's a memory. That's a happy one. Minsan, we will just turn the negative one into positive one or the sad one into positive one. Pagtatawanan nyo na lang yan in time, no? Right now, you deal with it. Do not ever lose hope. Okay lang yan. Masaya yan. And then, inability to deal with a perceived failure. Perceived pa lang, ha? So, hindi pa talaga siya, hindi pa talaga siya failure. Maaring ikaw lang ang nag-isip na failure. So, it's important for you to ask around, okay lang ba na ganito ganito? So, how am I going to deal with it? Um, nag-fail ako. So, alam mo kung anong sagot yan? Ang failure ay failure kung titigil ka na. Pero, kung itutuloy-tuloy mo lang, sabi nga, try and try until you succeed, just do it. 
alcohol abuse that's also cause of depression drug abuse we have um different um what they call it body or uh could be ngo or government um body that or organization that helps about those who are drug abused and alcohol alcoholic uh, abuse tama ba feeling of not being accepted by family friends or society minsan merong sa pamilya di ba merong medyo kakaiba ng konte or could be there is a reason kung may nanay na ayaw niya dun sa anak niya may tatay na ayaw niya dun sa anak niya for some reason hindi natin alam ayoko nang i-justify kung bakit pero may mga dahilan pero minsan baka feeling lang naman natin yun Siguro the more that we should try to get closer to that person or that family member or that friend na feeling natin ayaw, we can ask. Um, again, communication. We can ask, bakit? Bakit? Diba? Until we get the answer. So that we don't get really sad and depressed about it. Kasi bakit tayo lang din ang nag-iisip nun? Um, next is horrible disappointment. Um, whatever disappointment that you may have. Again, sabi ko nga kanina, okay, you feel depressed. Pero huwag mong patagalin na sobrang tagal. Giving yourself a time to be sad is not a weak thing to do. It is you trying yourself to be strong again. Next is feeling like one has not lived up to his or her high expectations or those of another. The feeling mo hindi ano hindi ka nakakasapat. May ibang term pa ba doon? Hindi ka nakakaabot sa expectation ng mga tao sa paligid mo. Parang hindi ka enough. Am I not enough? Di ba? Sabi nga ni Liza Soberano. Meron kasi laging ganong feeling, usually sa mga broken relationships, saro sa mga magjowa. Pag pinagpapalit sila, am I not enough? You know, you should not question yourself that because hindi ikaw ang may problema. Yung isa ang may problema. At problema niya yun, huwag mong problemahin. Bullying. Ang bullying, hindi ito nangyayari sa mga bata lang. Sa mga bata, laro-laro lang ang bullying eh. ba diba? But when your office mates your workmates or other business mates or whatever you may call it, your colleagues, bullied you. That is a problem. And you should really get help because it's not easy. I experienced that before. I'm not going to expound it. But that is... I, I cannot say that I, will, I get depressed. Pero nalungkot ako, you know, especially uh, sa mga tao na walang pwedeng magtanggol para sa kanila or hindi nila kaya ipagtanggol yung sarili nila or ayaw na lang kasi na talaga nilang pumatol. It is depressing. Again, social responsibility to check on each other. Low self-esteem. Yung mababa na yung tiwala mo sa sarili mo, yung tingin mo sa sarili mo, nakadepression kasi yung May mga reasons eh, hindi ko pwede sabihin wag because it happens. And sabi ko nga, nang nangyayari lang yun eh, minsan nasa isip mo lang siya, walang nagtuturo sa'yo na, uy, dapat daw ang self-esteem mo, walang ganun eh, nafe-feel mo lang yun. And yung mga tao, huwag kayo din magalit dun sa mga taong nafe-feel na low ang self-esteem nila. Instead, help them. Help them kasi kailangan nila ng tulong. Ang mga taong depressed, kami, kailangan namin ng tulong. Kaya kayo nandyan, kaya kayo naging friends and loved ones. Para makatulong do sa mga taong who possibly needs you. Okay, so that is suicide causes. And again, there is a number that's 8. Uh, 0 2 8 and for mobile phone, that's 0 9 That is the suicide hotline for the Philippines.
Okay, so next that we are going to tackle is I have a long list here of how to help a suicidal person, but I'm going to tackle this on my next coffee talk, uh, on my next video. Suicidal person, how to help a suicidal person, and let us try to, ha to answer when will my depression end. No, so just stand by and again I'm not asking you to do anything about this um, video but thank you if you will subscribe like or share this with any people whom you know has a possible suicidal tendency um, before I end this video I remember when I was in Japan you know Japan is known na may nagaharakiri and suicide in the form of mm, in fact they have this forest that is true they have a suicide forest which i will um check right now suicide forest okay, it's aokigahara Okay, it is called Aokigahara. It's in Yamanashi, Japan. It's a forest on the northwestern, northwestern flank of Japan's Mount Fuji. So, parang nasa paanan siya ng Mount Fuji. I really like to go there. You can actually see, pag nachempo, pag hindi pa nila nalinis, meron kayong makikita talaga doon ng mga naka, nakahang kakilabot, di ba? Uh, again, that could be prevented. Medyo laid back din kasi ang mga Japanese, they don't really wanna talk and socialize at, because they work, work, work. Again, suicide, suicide can be prevented. Let's try some more to reach out to each other, help each other, try to check Kahit makulitan na sila sa inyo, kaka-check. Tandaman nila na may pakilam kayo sa kanya. And it's a big thing. Because, yung mga time na nawawala na sila ng pag-asa, pero alam nila na nandyan kayo para sa kanya, it can be prevented. Alam natin to, marami to ngayon. And this is not a joke. Magtulungan tayo. Again, coffee talk. By Porsche Addy. See you on my next episode, which is um, how will the depression ends? When will it end? And uh, what are the other things that could help people suffering from depression? See you.